let's talk about your concept of second cities. You and I have talked about it before. I think we may have talked about it when we were doing the shorter daily segments of uh, of the Power Play, which is now every Tuesday for an hour, the full length show. Uh, what is this concept of second cities and what do you mean by it? Sure. So the opening line on this is that what, what you're investing in is the market itself. We call our company Own America because that is what you are doing. You're accumulating an ownership stake in America. And of course, different parts of America, different cities, different towns, they have different fundamentals. Uh, and these fundamentals are very common sense and they're things that you can learn how to read. And because they're gradual, they're glacial in their timetables, you can see things coming way in advance, okay? Mm. And I've made a career of recognizing the patterns and then finding techniques to figure out what is likely to happen over the next handful of years. And as you know, usually this idea of picking a winning market has to do with fundamentals on population and jobs and uh, cool, the cool factor of a city, inbound migration, quality of life, cost of living. We balance all of these things to just simply forecast where people are going to be going, right? It's really that simple. So a lot of people that are that are long on common sense do really well in this area because they're trying to forecast where things are going. But here's the second city concept. Cities have fundamentals, okay? The things that drive their economies, um, like I just mentioned, all those major, major categories, right? Migration, jobs, quality of life, cost of living. What's the appeal that causes people to go there and it causes people to stay there um, cities have their fundamentals. And then there are other cities that have very, very similar fundamentals, but have not quite developed yet. Meaning it's like seeing somebody, you, know, you see two people that are relatives. One is 30 years old. One is 15 years old. You can tell they look alike. And that 15 year old is going to end up looking like the 30 year old, you know, better mm -hmm. or worse, same kind of principle. And so as an example, you cannot find a market in America that has done as well or done better. There's a couple of done as well as Nashville, Tennessee in the last six, eight years. Nashville has always been a popular Southern city, but it caught fire in all the right ways in the last six, eight years. And so it was a combination of jobs moving there during economic downturns, state, cities and states that have lower taxes, lower cost of living, they wind up being counter cyclical in terms of the recession because it's expensive places that lose population when the money's tight, right? People say, I'm getting out of New York. I'm going south. That usually is what happens. Nashville got very, very hot. All the population centers across the upper Midwest, but also California, also New York and D.C. and Boston, a lot of them made their way to Nashville. And it was because of all these great fundamentals of economics, but also the Nashville cool factor just lit up. Mm. Like I'm not going to credit the TV show, but the, the, the scene in Nashville – like right now, I read recently that Nashville is the number one city in the country for bachelorette parties. Yes, Vegas that's right. Is still, yeah. Right? Yeah. Vegas is still number one for bachelor parties because guys are dirty birdies. But when it comes to the ladies, <laughs> they want to go out and they, and they want to go and see a, see the music. You know, it's, yeah. it's, if you've never been there, one of the things about Nashville is, is that everybody you meet who's been there, they name it as one of their top favorite cities in the country, right? So it's got everything going for it. And the home prices have taken off. If you go to our website, you see charts on this. They've taken off, all right? That is usually the barometer. If things are good, things get more valuable because of supply and demand. Mm. Supply is limited. Demand increases because of all the inbound attention. And things go up. So, number one, Nashville is still a great investment if you want to park money into a great city and earn and grow over time. But if you're the kind of person that says, I want to, I wish that I caught Nashville six years ago, that's where the second city comes in. Where is there another market? Someplace nearby, someplace far away, but that shares some of the same core fundamentals of Nashville that hasn't yet happened. The younger Nashville, the second iteration of those fundamentals where the same things are taking place, but they're taking place six or eight or 10 years later. Does that make sense? No, that makes sense. So if I'm a real estate investor and I'm thinking about looking at the next second city, what do I – how do I go about doing that? Well, first thing is to understand the city you're trying to do the copycat on, okay? Um, what kind of jobs they have there? Why do people go there? What are the fundamentals? And oftentimes it's going to be something that is not that far away. In this case, it's Chattanooga, Tennessee. So Nashville, Tennessee happens – 
and is going to continue to happen. It's not turning around. It's not going south. It's just the really, really, really hot upward trend may be leveling off. Chattanooga has just begun its upward trend. Mm. Chattanooga is one year into, if you look at these charts side by side, and I dwell on this stuff, I have... I have no hobbies at all. Okay, so I, to me, when I when I'm done working, I want to look at charts of Chattanooga, right? Um, it is it follows a very very similar trajectory. The cool factor, the the state being responsible with its money, so the cost of living being low, the quality of life being high, that whole appeal of Nashville. Literally, people that wanted to go to Nashville but are being priced out of Nashville are going to Chattanooga, and that goes for businesses as well. Some high-profile things have happened in Nash, in, uh, in Chattanooga, including being one of the first cities to lay fiber throughout mm-hmm. the entire city, which had a way of attracting a lot of tech, right? When you get tech, you get youth, you get university driver, the VaynerMedia, the I, very hot You took media the words company. right out of my mouth. Exactly. Gary Vaynerchuk moved, uh, uh, expanded his offices to Chattanooga, which is very Yeah, and that matters, man. That matters. That's, really in, does. in a way, if you're trying to track cool and tech, you know, like you can look at where Lowe's and Home Depot open stores and you can glean a lot from something like that. You can look at where a company like VaynerMedia, which is New York, L.A., London and like someplace else. I forget the third, the fourth place. But all these big mega gateway cities across the globe and Chattanooga. So why? Right. And you, I don't know the why they did it. I think the why they did it is they realize that it's got they have the potential to be a very, very important uh, player like there is a he's a growing sized fish in a big pond in New York. He's the big dog in Chattanooga, right? The the impact that one company can have on a market by anointing it a winner um, can have a bit. And, and all this was happening in Chattanooga before he set foot there. So the point is, I know that I've picked a winner. Now what I'm doing here is we're taking positions in Chattanooga. We're targeting the market. We're getting to know it really, really well because I know that my clients in the next three to five years are all going to be clamoring and asking me, where do we go next? And the answer is going to be Chattanooga. So I'm giving the tip to people that if you want to invest and you can get comfortable with that city, go visit it, go taste, go go, go experience it if you like it. It's the kind of place you can get in fairly inexpensively relative to other cities like it, but you're going to see a pop in demand in that market over the next 10 years that um, that is really going to carry and lift all boats in that city. And I promise you, I'm bringing people there. So that when I bring them there, the prices are going to go up. If you get in out ahead of me and my friends in the industry, the big investors, you're going to wind up being driven um, in a very positive direction because of all that activity coming your way. So what I'm hearing is look at a primary market see what markets surrounding that market are positioned for growth and positioned to do well. Identify... And for the same reasons, for for the basically for the same reasons as the primary market. Yes, exactly. Yes. And then identify... I mean, if, I, if I'm boots on ground and I'm running boots on ground, I want to go to the county office, I want to go to the city hall, see what expansion plans they have, do, what industries are coming in, jobs, companies, who's moving and why. And if there's enough opportunity... Buy and hold. It makes sense. Just do that. And I think part of sometimes the hesitation that investors have is they don't really know they can go to the city and ask these questions. But believe me, you can't.